Hey guys, it's so it's little combo batch. I'm gonna do something a little bit new, and it has to do with the, my guinea pig. I'm gonna show you guys how to clean a guinea pig cage. That's her cage right here. Before we start, I'm, I gotta give you four like things that you have to have to clean a guinea pig cage. Basically, what I do is I grab some paper towels, two cleaning rags, a garbage bag, and some sort of cleaner. And, okay, we're going to get to this cage right here real quick. My cage is, is like a little bit different. My cage is a little bit different, so I gotta, so I gotta unhook this side, then unhook the other side, and then I can take this off, and we're basically set to start. What I do with my guinea pig is I put it in some sort of box. I have a Mountain Dew box. And I recommend to take all of your stuff out of your cage when you clean it, including the guinea pig, the adorable creature. So then put the guinea pig into the box, make sure that she's all safe or he, he or she is safe. And then what I'm going to do right now is actually get into the cleaning part. So what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to do that garbage bag thing where you gotta go. Uh, we gotta like shake it out or whatever. And what I do is I take my garbage bag and I just like put it underneath the wheels. Nice. Right. Wrap it around there. Let me grab this phone so I can put this at a better angle. Hoping. Oh crap! I'm so sorry. Let's see. And then what I do is I lifted this up and I just. Kind of shake this down a little bit, make sure that everything falls. And then if you have like a bit, of just that one bit of thing right there, what I do is I grab one of my paper towels and I just and I just kind of shake it down, like, like rip it. Make it go down all the way, and it works. And then, I basically just put that in there. Then, go to the bottom, and then try to figure out a way to get all of the guinea pig's bedding into the hole. I see a bit of other, the other things, the walls. This is a little bit more different. I'm not used to any recording, but this helps. And I hope that if you, if any of my viewers have any guinea pig or any sort of animal that has this type of cage, the, I hope that this helps you. If you guys like guinea pig videos, I will definitely start uploading more. Because I try to upload whenever you guys like, but I also upload what I like. I just put my head in there to see if there's anything in there.
and then I just release that. That is your little bag full of crap stuff. And then I'm gonna go back to that one camera angle. Hey, next. And then what you do is you just spray your cleaner on the inside like so I don't really know what I use really my mom just gave it to me and I don't really know what to do with it I mean I know what to do with it I just it's kind of weird okay then you grab your paper towels and you just wipe everything down. Get every little thing that you can out. Oh, this is so weird in a read. And I've noticed that if you cannot get anything out with the paper towel, then use um one of those rags that you got you just do the same thing works like a charm it's so good to use and will definitely speed up the process and if you have a guinea pig I'd recommend doing this probably every like every weekend or so, depending on what day you get it and what day you actually clean the cage. Like I think I got my I got my guinea pig on my birthday, so and I can't remember I think it was like a Wednesday. And I noticed that my guinea pig's cage was getting a little bit dirty, so I cleaned it on like Friday. Or something like that. I think my parents showed me. And then I just started doing it every Friday, and then I started getting busy, and then I started doing it on Saturdays, and I'm not going to lie that it helps that you keep your guinea pig healthy, and this isn't really going to clear up so fast, because I didn't spray all oh, crap, I got it on myself. But now I'm just you no know, cleaning. Oh, and I should mention if you have any other type of pet, like a cat or a dog, I'd recommend like putting them either outside or in a kennel. And that should help. That actually that would that would definitely help the you know not terrify your guinea pig. I'm pretty sure that your guinea pig is going to be terrified when you take her out of her cage and put her in a box or whatever you put her into. At least I put her in a box. She's used to it because I've done it so many times. And, you know, depending if you let the guinea pig poop sit there for a while, like a week, sometimes it may, like, dry and what I've noticed is, like, my corners, some of my corners have, like, dried out a lot. Like, if you see this, as you can see, like, you can, like, some of my, like, right there, you can see that it's, there's, like, white crap stuck onto there. And, now... What you want to do is you want to take your other rag and you want to go into your bathroom and I'm going to go into my bathroom. Put, put, put your water on and put your other rag into there. And then all you do is you just wipe this down again. It 
thought I'd just decide to show you this time, I guess. And this is just so I can wipe all that bad chemicals from the cleaner. Especially, like, from my cleaner. My cleaner includes, like, vinegar in it, so... It, it is really bad for a guinea pig, but if you just clean it out, it's really good for a cleaner. I've used it for a few weeks. My guinea pig seems a lot more healthy with it. And, yeah, you just clean this out a bit. And you notice it's all wet. So what you do, you take more of your paper towel. Then you wipe that down so it's not so wet, and that should that should be the actual cleaning part. And I'm not just gonna show you oh, how to actually like, clean it because I already did that. I'm gonna show you how I set up my own little guinea pig cage. See, now that's all dry. Now. I guarantee you a lot of guinea pig covers have their like bedding. And what you do with this bedding is you just like if it's all stiff, just, like, wipe it down a little bit and then dump it in there. It I use the Critter Care paper bedding. It, I've been using this for a while. I have to buy more of this. So I don't know when. Just kind of like pat it down. Make sure that you have at least most of your actual like at most of the floor covered. Or at least that's what I like to do. And I don't know if that's how you do it or if that's just how I do it. But that's how I do it. And that's what it should look like. And then I put the food bowl in. I put it normally right there. Put a little snack there. Oh, she's been eating that. And then there's this little red like thing. That is actually an edible guinea pig snack that they can eat. And then put their igloo or whatever kind of bedding that they have. And then, okay, and then you grab your guinea pig. One moment, I can't do this with a phone in my hand. Come here, come here, it's fine. See, and then there's your guinea pig. And I'm going to be putting this guinea pig into the cage. Like so. And there she is. And now, you take that first cage part, the one that I have in my hand, and you detach from it, from the cage. Now you're going to attach it to the cage. And Whatever else that you have, put it into your guinea pig, like this water. Oh my gosh. The worst camera angle video ever. I do expect good camera angles for this channel. I'm getting a gaming one, but don't really expect a good vlogging one for a while. Oh, and I have one of these for my guinea pig. To go, to call like a lava thing, I don't really get it. So, I just put it right here so they can sit there and play with it. And clean up all your materials. I just put it on my stuff, like the cleaner. Go and put your rags in the very close. Wherever the heck my other one went. Oh, it's over there. Oh, sorry, wait. Then, see, get your dirty old rags. 
and I just hang them on so on like those things and then oh forgot one thing just like straighten out your cage like that and if you live in a basement like I do I would recommend putting a blanket over your guinea pig's cage this is helpful so that your guinea pig doesn't really freeze and it is not a really good feeling when your guinea pigs freeze as you just know that they are suffering so just like put your guinea just put your blanket like down there especially if you have a bathroom like right next to the cage just like make sure that it's covered and so that, so that the guinea pig doesn't isn't like too cold that's probably a reason why a lot of guinea pigs die is because they do not have a really good place to like keep warm and if you and what you do with your like garbage stuff right there what you do is you just like go out into your garage or whatever the front of your yard and put it in that giant bin and that's all you do it's not that hard it's pretty simple peace out hope you enjoyed bye guys